For the first time, the state has analyzed the racial makeup of the COVID-19 numbers in Indiana. As states collect more data, it's evident coronavirus is disproportionately impacting African Americans, and that's happening here in Indiana too. RTV6's Cornelius Hawker got some insight from an expert at IU who explains why this should not be a surprise considering race plays a significant factor in many aspects of people's lives. From the data we have, African Americans make up nearly 10% of the state population, but account for nearly 20% of all COVID-19 cases and deaths. For more insight on this, I talked to Dr. Brianka Merritt from the IU Public Policy Institute. And these are things that are a function of policies and practices that have taken place over the course of decades that have kind of manifested themselves in other uh, arenas, such as income um, and health broadly, but now we're seeing that show up in COVID as well. Whether it's employment opportunities or where a person can live, Dr. Merritt says those old policies still have an impact today. The example she gave, redlining, which started in the 1930s and was officially outlawed in 1968, made getting home loans impossible for black folks, creating communities that are predominantly black to this day. We're more likely to shop in the same stores, go to the same churches, have the same social circles with people who might be of a different socioeconomic status or working status. And so uh, because we're clustered together, through a lot of you know federal and local policies, um, it means that we're susceptible to getting sick. Dr. Merritt says every facet of African American life has been impacted by these discriminatory practices. So how do we fix it? I asked her what she wanted to see our local, state, and federal governments do to address these problems once this pandemic is over. By specifically just taking the first step of saying this is an issue that affects the black community, highlights the fact that community needs more attention and potentially more resources to address some of these systemic problems. And that was Cornelius Hawker reporting. The State Department of Health says the data they have now is incomplete, but they're going to continue collecting information about race as it relates to COVID-19 to get a better picture of what's happening in our state and then use that data to make systematic changes.